What's going on guys? It's Gerard. We got a good one today. We're going to learn how to feeble the fakie. Before you learn this trick, you should know how to rock the fakie and backside feeble stall. Feeble the fakie is a trick that is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to come up, do a feeble stall, back truck, board stall, and then you're going to come back in fakie. Pretty easy, right? Not exactly. So uh, this trick is super scary. Uh, it's one of the scariest tricks I think that you learn since learning rock to fakie for the first time. But to make it easier, we're gonna break it down into three parts. Your shoulders, your back foot, and your head. And so for your shoulders, you wanna start learning this trick by practicing rock to fakies. If you can deck a rock to fakie, where you get all the way up and come back in, you're gonna get this trick pretty quickly. But what I'd recommend to practice is to come up and do rock to fakies, but instead of going straight up and down like you normally would, tweak your body backside a little bit and then come back in. And you're gonna wanna do that over and over, getting a little bit higher each time. The only difference between tweaking that rock to fakie and doing a feeble fakie is really getting that back wheel on. So if you keep tweaking it and get closer and closer, eventually you can sneak that back wheel on and then you're gonna naturally wanna come back in. For a backside feeble stall, you normally turn your shoulders all the way to come back in regular. But for fakie, you wanna keep your shoulders in the same position as a rock to fakie, so that way your board's gonna follow you back in backwards. So the second part of this trick is all in your back foot. When you do a feeble stall, even though your board is dipped into the ramp, you're holding the board on the coping with pressure on your heel. So when you're ready to come back in fakie from a feeble, what you're gonna do is shift that heel pressure to your toe so your wheel hits the ramp when you pivot back in. If you've been practicing those rock to fakies, especially those decked ones, you're gonna have a feeling for the timing of how long you need to hold your truck up so you don't hang up. That's the biggest risk on this step of the trick is coming in, catching your trucks on the coping, and then falling to the flat. The good news is if you do that, if you get that far, that means you're really close to landing the trick. That brings us to the last part, which is it's all in your head. So like I said, this trick's one of the scariest tricks that you'll learn since really you first learned rock to fakie. And it's just because the idea of committing all the way into the ramp backwards is really, really scary. There's no way around it. Just like most tricks in skateboarding, the biggest thing you can do is commit. You gotta just go for it. So by practicing those rock to fakies, working your way up slowly, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to commit to going back in. Once you get it down, feeble to fakie is one of the most amazing feeling tricks. And if you're anything like me, it's gonna set you up for tricks like pivot to fakie, and then eventually blunt to fakie. Don't forget, leave a comment down below, let me know what trick you wanna learn next, or what trick you wanna see me learn next. And if you learn a new trick, send a video my way, might find yourself at the end of the next video. Till then, see you guys next time.